And if your kid goes to the school, I am so sorry, but you need to put them in kickboxing classes. Don't want to feel you. Don't want you on my mind. Don't want to feel you. Don't want you on my mind. Don't want to feel you. Don't want you on my mind. Happy Sunday. Don't mind my hair. I'm getting ready to do my hair right now. I'm cooking dinner. Yes, girl. I'm just in a real vlogger YouTuber mood right around now. Um, so I just finished editing and I'm getting ready to upload this week's vlog or last week's vlog. This is a new week. So happy Sunday, girl. Welcome to a new vlog. Usually I don't vlog on Sundays. But I'm trying to get myself prepared. Uh, I'm trying to get myself prepared. It was a great weekend this weekend. Um, a whole bunch of relaxing, a whole bunch of sleeping, chilling. So now today is Sunday, and we're we're still on that vibe. I'm going to Starbucks to pick up my drink and my cake, and um, yeah, and then I'm going back home to upload this video up on YouTube. So. I'm pretty like commending myself because when I edit a whole lot earlier in the week and then edit some more on Sunday just to get the vlog finished and uploaded, it, it's a whole lot easier. So now I'm just trying to put myself in an easier situation and go ahead and start vlogging on Sunday after I edit and upload and then vlog all the way up until wednesday so let's see how this goes i'm going to be playing around yeah like i was saying let's see how this goes i'm going to be playing around with the schedule and the time that i set for myself on this youtube journey um just so we are clear i still have not recorded wednesday's video i know i'm trying to do better but it's just brainstorming brainstorming video not really ideas but brainstorming the videos content and how it's going to play out it's something that I'm gonna have to start back doing because I fell off and now it's like I don't have any ideas as to how to get this video recorded so um, yeah that's a constant struggle for me is planning and being consistent with my planning um, so that's that's one problem that I need to definitely correct soon and fairly soon I'm 
was popping what's good it's your girl tonight monique here yeah girl with me. come on car i was really not about to hit that car for real um but we are back with another vlog today is monday so happy monday to you and yours four days girl just four days um i didn't want to come up here though because my kids did something for me today um that was so cute my last class is so upset about the fact that I am leaving and so today I got a gift so one of my students bought me a bouquet of flowers these are artificial flowers which is just fine because y'all know I can't take care of no flowers and she got me all of my favorite candy girl so she got me a bag of miniature Reese's which she know I love me some Reese's Reese's is my favorite candy um Reese's Snickers those type of candies just warm my heart and I'm at the stoplight now so I can read this letter and there's more candy in here Twigs, Milky Way and all of those things but she also wrote me a letter and she said <clears throat> I'm sorry if it's bad but I try my best have a nice time at your new job Okay, y'all, so let me read y'all this letter. I'm home now. These are my flowers. I'm, I'm happy for them. And I got some Reese's, Twix, and Milky Way. And then one of my students also wrote me a letter. So she said, hello, miss. I ain't telling y'all my last name because if you know, you know. If you don't, you know. But she said, hello, miss. I wrote you this letter or note to let you know that the gift was from me. I bought you this gift because I wanted to buy you something since you're going to be gone until Friday. It says, and I just felt that it was right. It was the right thing to do. I wanted to thank you for everything you have done, have done an amazing job for teaching us everything we need to know before the ELG. And also I just wanted to know if I can help you help you move out of the classroom it says I will miss you very much and I will be emailing you to ask you how are you and how have you been sincerely whoever my student is um and she said sorry if I spelled it wrong it says thank you for everything you do best teacher of ELA which is so cute and then she wrote me a note that says cute heart sorry if it's bad I tried my best and this is from the same student and um, like I said she brought me some flowers and some candy girl mm, I feel so loved today like so loved today um but anyways today is my name I'm getting ready to go in the house and chill I'm off early so I'm just about to go here and chill and just vibe out um, I'll be cooking later on today and all of those things, but I will see y'all later, later. Hi, vlog. Next day here. So, um, we just got finished filming the advice video. Hope I don't have to refilm it because, um, yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday and I am praying to God that that video came out how it was supposed to and that my words came out like they were supposed to because your girl was constantly, constantly, constantly getting tongue tied. Um, so this is my first time picking up the camera for today because I left my camera at home. Which, I didn't go nowhere do nothing anyway. I just went to work and came back home. So, yeah. Now we're at a point where we're getting ready to cook up. I swear, my phone be so crooked. Yeah, so we are at a point now where we're getting ready to cook dinner. It is almost 6 o'clock and I just want to chill, literally. I just want to chill. I want to get this video edited. I want to get it uploaded. And all of those nice things because this will not be another week 
where we don't post a middle of the week video like why is it so hard for me to post the sit down videos i do not know i don't know i talked about that in my um in my advice video too it's just very hard for me to sit down and post these videos but your girl be busy that's why for real to be honest but i have to make time for it i committed to it so now i have to follow through let's cook this dinner i got some chicken legs this week and they're not big really except this one so the rest of them are pretty nice size and i was debating i was like dang a good fried piece of chicken leg mm, that'll be so good but girl i ain't got no hot sauce i can't eat fried chicken without hot sauce so it's healthier if i did baked anyway so i guess i'm gonna put the chicken in the air fryer Put some hot sauce with some chicken, some fried chicken with the skin on it, girl. That would be so good right now. But I don't know. I might do fried chicken. Because y'all know, I don't know if y'all ever get this feeling. But, like, sometimes I be feeling like I don't get the most out of my food. I just be eating just because, oh, it's time to eat. Or, you know, this is what I got, so this is what I got to eat type of thing you know so let me stop talking so much because y'all know i could sit and talk for hours and hours and hours <laughs> come on y'all let's season this food frying anything i like for everything to be submerged in oil literally i don't have enough oil to submerge my chicken legs so i'm gonna put them in the air fryer no way around it
Hi guys, what's up? Today is Wednesday, so next day here. We're running errands, we're doing what we gotta do. I'm supposed to have a video up today, but it might be tomorrow because your girl got to restock her house. It's been a long month, a long one. Um, so we're going to get groceries um, I'm also, I was also in the process of handling some things a little bit earlier to take care of my departure at my current job. Um, so right now we are in the parking lot of the grocery store. We're getting ready to go in here and get groceries. And depending on what time I go, get out of here, I might stop by Walmart and um, pick up some household items and I said Piggly Wiggly, but if, um, yeah, I want to be home at a certain time. So if all of this is not done within an hour, I won't be going. Um, and judging by as much as we need in my house, I believe in the power of the tongue, but um, I also feel like I'm going to be in here an hour. So, yeah. Um, so, let's go in here and let's grocery shop. Enjoy the vibes. For the occasion, um, no, that's fine.
your face with it. Damn me is different. It ain't all walks and ain't no walks. It's zero tolerance with anything fucking with mine. She didn't call this way. You can go and do what y'all niggas always do with y'all like me. You better understand the concept that you put the way you got it all in it. Oh, it's been about two or three times to make sure. Y'all, I think I chose a good day to come to the grocery store because these sales that I am catching. So that's over, thankfully. I'm not going nowhere else, girl. Um, I'm about to think about what me and my boyfriend is getting ready to eat tonight. If You know what? I'm not spending no more money. I'm trying to do better. I am going to go home and make something that I picked up like things I feel like should be free is food and gas food and gas should always be free because you have to have food to live and you gotta have gas to put gas in your car like literally that is all I bought that's it. I put gas in my car earlier and food. Food for the house. And I'm still not finished, bro. That's what's crazy. It's what I got. It's just stuff that you like supposed to have. Tomorrow's Thursday. I need to make sure that I pick up my co-worker a gift for her baby shower. Because y'all remember Saturday I told y'all I was supposed to be going to an event and I didn't go. And I told y'all I was just going to put some money in the car or get her a gift card. I haven't got it yet, which I don't feel bad. But I had to take care of my responsibilities and I had to put some groceries in my house make sure i had gas in my car because y'all i'm getting ready to start a new job okay and if you don't know you should know the transition like um whenever you start a new job the transition is a little rough it ain't easy but it should be easier for me because the current job that i'm working now gets paid once a month so we have to go a whole month and wait for our pay versus the job I'm going to it gets paid every two weeks so I'm glad I'm restocking my house and paying um, my bills for April because that's where I'm at so that way it'll be easier for me to get on track once um, the checks start flowing from my new job which I'm super excited about. I'm excited about my new job, y'all. I just try not to express my feelings at work, really, because or like seem braggy, because I'm a firm believer that everything you have been given it can and will be taken away from you in the instant. So you got to be grateful and be humble and just ask God to give you the strength to be able to keep that job and do that job to your best ability. So that's what I've been doing. If it seems like I haven't been talking about my new job a lot, that's because, okay, that's because my current job that I'm working is hell. Everybody is going through um, right now. And really and truly, I feel like the pay that we get at the job that I currently have is not enough for as much as we go through. It's really not. We go through a lot of shit. Literally, y'all. 
mm, I said I won't want to tell y'all no stories from my current job. But literally, y'all, it was a fight today. It's a fight every day at my school. I'm not capping. And if your kid goes to the school, I am so sorry, but you need to put them in kickboxing classes. I'm serious. Anyway, let me go my ass in this house. Get these groceries out. Kind of salty I did all of this by myself. Good morning, girl. Today is Thursday. One more day at my school, girl. And I will be starting my new job. Okay, period. Um, so this morning, I'm going to get my coffee. And my allergies have been sucking this morning. Like, so I'm sorry, y'all, if I sound like a man. But, um, and I took my allergy medicine. Well, I just took it this morning, so... Since spring started, I just started taking my allergy medicine. And this morning, I doubled up and decided to take two. I'm going in here to get my coffee real quick. Because literally, all I had to do this morning was get dressed. I didn't have to pack a lunch. I did not even make me any breakfast. So, I'm going to go get me some coffee. So. Because I'm sneezing. I've been wearing my mask a whole lot more. So, that way, people don't think. You know, I got COVID. And people is still catching COVID out here. So, y'all don't think I'm just crazy. I feel like my outfit today is very cute. It's basic. And I've been trying to wear this outfit all week long. Literally all week. And it's been like cold. Spring went away for a little bit. And now she's back today. So, um, yeah. And then today is supposed to rain and thunderstorm and all of that. So, even though I feel cute, hopefully I don't get drenched. <laughs> so, um, I'm getting ready to go ahead and call my mom. Y'all know I do that every single morning. I have to talk to my mama. And head to work. Because I'm trying to get there a little bit early today. Um, because it's my last two days. You know, it's my tomorrow will be my last day. So it's my last two days. And I need to pack up my stuff. So I got basically all of the nitty gritty stuff out of my classroom. Now I just need to get my heavy duty stuff like I bought a shelf this year and when I first started teaching I bought a um I'm not gonna turn my blinker on. When I first started teaching I bought a like a drawer, a stack drawer that's multicolored. And I think I'm gonna use that in my other classroom at my new job. So I don't know if I told y'all or not, but I'm gonna be doing pre-K. Um yeah, girl, I'm gonna be doing pre-K. And believe it or not, like, the transition, I feel like it'll be a whole lot more smoother. The job, I feel like it'll be less stressful. Let's go ahead and put that out there. And I make more money. Who wouldn't take that? Who wouldn't take that? Not have to worry about no mouthy, no mouthy preteen. Not, no shade to my students. I love my students. But but y'all, let me go on with my morning. I'll see y'all throughout the course of the day. Today is going to be the last day of this vlog, by the way. It was supposed to be yesterday. But I feel like this vlog is all over the place. And I'm sorry. I don't know. I haven't started editing yet. But I feel like y'all see me for a glimpse. And you get on. But is, isn't that how a vlog is supposed to be? Oh, hey, girl. Long time no see, literally. I haven't seen y'all since this morning. But it's much later here. Um, Your girl, last day is tomorrow. And if you cannot tell, I just put um this thing in my back seat. It was not here yesterday when y'all saw the vlog. Um, And this is something that I had to move out of my classroom today. So, we got gifts because tomorrow's your girl last day. Like I said, and my coworkers, 
they did or and it's also going to be another teacher's last day soon too so they kind of did our celebrations together and it was so nice we got some gifts girl and i ended up purchasing a shirt for my boyfriend um it is this this is one of my co-workers brand um it's called positive or poetic culture he writes poems so y'all make sure y'all check him out i will ask him for his information to tag him below so hold on he got a business card in here okay so here you go check it out check it out take a screenshot do what you gotta do here you go check it out check it out take a screenshot do what you gotta do is one thing that I got. I wanted a shirt myself, but he had a Bottega green shirt, but he was all out of stock in my size. So, did you get some gifts today. I got a card. It says, read me. This is from my coworker, Miss Brooks. That's why I'm just pulled over here and reading the cards. Oh, I got a gas card for Sheets. We love that for us. It says, what an honor it has been to have been trained by you. Thank you for your unselfishness, kindness, leadership, and just being you. You are greatly appreciated, Miss Brooks. Oh, blessings on your new journey. This is so sweet. Oh my gosh, she said I was going to cry. But to me, like... I'm happy. I'm just happy and thankful that I can be a blessing to others. Like, I, I really have had to work on that um, because when I was younger, I really used to be that person who was just selfish, very mean, standoffish. I really did not like to interact with people. And honestly, I'm just so glad that I can really be a blessing to people. Um, Some headphones that I meant to take out. She didn't get me those, by the way, but a student asked me to hold the headphones. This is from my classroom, and I put them in my gift bag. She also got me a hearted keychain. Super cute. And is this a blanket? Oh, it's a dress. Oh, this is cute now. Okay. Period. And she got me some cute earrings. So cute, girl. Thank you, Miss Brooks. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Miss Brooks. You are such a good, good, good coworker. I'm just grateful that I had a chance to meet you and work with someone as nice and welcoming and willing to want to learn this stuff. Because in order to teach, you have to really want to learn this stuff. And I'm just so grateful. It says, teacher shape the world. So one of my students got me a Starbucks card like this. This is so cute. I need to call Miss Brooks and tell her thank you because I just read her card. So that is something on my to-do list whenever I get home. And then not to mention, I, I got my last meal from school, which was Subway. So we have a club called Hospitality Club. And um, I got me a Subway sandwich in here and some chips. So, I don't know if that's going to be dinner tonight or what, but, um, yeah, that's what I got. But anyways, I have to finish running errands. So, that is it for this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like these if you enjoy my vlog. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!